Kern was a great linebacker from Reading in high school. Sometimes he plays it out here on the basketball floor to the delight of the fans. Taking it into traffic. Up and just a little short. Wilson Foster saved. <laughs> he had stepped on the line. Is the ruling by the official. Wilson's foot was on the line when he scooped it off the Eastern player. 16-point lead for the Broncos, 2.20 left first half. I'll tell you, the Broncos have done a great job of forcing the Eastern player out. No contact there since the shot, and so the Broncos will take possession. And the impatience of David Peed leaves him with three points on the night. An average of 21.9 on the season. He led Eastern in eight straight games during one point in which he averaged six, 26 points a game over that stretch. Wilson Foster working against P. Scott Kerr, Chris Child, Rich Blight gets a screen from Johnson. Broncos now working their offense. Johnson jumps it up over P, doesn't go. Kern gets the rebound and is called for the foul. Yes, Bobby Dye applauds the aggressiveness, though, of Scott Kern. You see Kern crashing. Boy, <laughs> he, was, he was going for the ball. He got a lot of the arm of Mike King, and King will go to the line on the other end. But boy, Scott Curran is playing some aggressive ball out there. He's not discouraged by the fact that it's uh, two shots from the field have not gone in yet. Well, really, that's the most important thing for any freshman player is to, to get the court time and not be discouraged when, when the things happen that, that are going to happen through lack of experience and, and lack of playing time. This is Mike King. The oldest member of this Eastern Washington group at 24. One of two, and Childs controls the rebound. 